And what's up guys, Shadow Dragonic here bringing you yet another episode of Let's Play Ark Semi-Blind. And as of right now, I am in the process of making some storage bins. Obviously I need some storage boxes to store some stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I also want to... I think I have some walls yet as well. I need some torches in this place. Um, do I? Yes, I do. I have a thatch wall. So let's... Let's put that thatch wall there. And now what I can do is I can go ahead and... Put one bin... Two bins. There we go. So now I got some storage in this area here. We got Frank, who is just kind of Okay, I went to pick up Frank and he decided to shit. Or maybe that was me. I shit. Look at that, I'm blaming my animal for the shit. Uh, come here Frank, I wanna... I wanna pick you up. I'm gonna toss you like right here. Frank, I need you in a more convenient area. Stop shitting. Seriously. There. You go hang out over there. That's fine. Alright. Dropped by Frank. Alright, so let's go ahead and start storing stuff. I think the most important things to start storing would be the chitin. So we'll go ahead and store that. We'll go ahead and store the metal because that is precious at this point. We'll also go ahead and store the hide, uh, the stone, the flint. That'll do it for now. That works for me. Let's go ahead and access this. Split that. Put some of that wood in there. Throw some of that meat. Now, I don't mind meat spoiling. Obviously, um, it is part of the narcotics recipe. You need narco berries and spoiled meat in order to make narcotics. So, for meat to spoil is not a big deal. However, the one thing that I don't really approve of in this game over Minecraft is the fact that you can't sleep through the night. Which seems really odd with it being a survival game. You'd think if you had a bed, you could, like you know, actually sleep in it, but you can't. You can fast travel between different beds that you have, but that's it. That's all you can really do. You can't sleep, which is a bit disappointing, but oh well. So as of what I want to accomplish in this episode, I really haven't thought about it. I guess what I could be doing is gathering more supplies. Obviously, I need some water, so I'm going to go go down here and get a drink of water from this wonderfully fresh stream. There we go. I don't really want to be wandering around at night. 
You know, because bad things come out at night. Although I've been kind of lucky so far, I guess. Okay, I don't know why. What in the world? Was that fish just flying? That fish was just flying. A sawtooth salmon. Oh, wow, he's attacking me. Oh, a saber-toothed salmon. Okay. Saber-toothed salmon, huh? He gets quite a bit of uh, raw fish meat. He does. That is a giant, a giant... Whoa! What in the world? That is a giant, giant fish. Just hanging out in this... cold, huh? This fish is out of water. And is huge. I'm like, whoa, what is going on with this fish? I'll tell you what, there's some weird stuff going on here. Holy Jesus. Raw prime fish meat. Oh my god. Wow. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I seeing this correctly? Um. seeing this correctly, right? How am I getting so much stuff from this fish? He just doesn't want to decompose, apparently. Oh my god, I broke my hatchet on it. That's a bit ridiculous. Um, I don't know what to say about that. Prime fish meat. Uh, holy crap. Um, I think I need flint. Uh, flint and what else? Um, possibly fiber. Thatch. There we go. Must have been thatch I was missing. Now, am I gonna continue to just get stuff from this guy's dead corpse? Because if that's the case, then. My god. It's like an endless supply of meat. Something doesn't seem right about this at all. I think this guy probably should have um, been gone a while ago, because this guy's gonna... Yeah, he goes away. But this guy, he's like the never-ending supply of meat. I'm starving. Oh no. Okay, so I have like, <laughs> I don't even know what's going on right now. Um, we're gonna put that into, yeah, carry weight. 
11 Ingram points. We want narcotic. Definitely. Um, is there anything else we really want at this point? Um, hat, shoes, and... Um, at the very least, we can go for, for boots. Oh my god, he finally vanished. Wow. That was a ridiculous amount of freaking meat that I got from that guy. Look at that. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40. Wow, 420 regular meat, and then I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 pieces of prime Prime fish meat? That's insane. Totally insane. I have never had that happen before. Right, um... Is that another fish out of water? No. What is this? Spoiled meat. <coughs> Okay, they're just rocks. That is a... A mega piranha out of water. Oh, okay. There's some weird... Okay. What in the world? Oh, he's not attacking me. Um, I'm not quite 100% sure what is going on with this game, but there's some weird, weird stuff going on right now. Definitely some weird stuff. Good bit of hide, if these guys do. <clears throat> Alright, so I think, um... What is that? That looks like it might be aggressive. I really hope not. <laughs> I don't want it to be aggressive, but... Sometimes I don't have a choice in the matter. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, I'm gonna go put away all this freaking meat. In fact, I probably need another uh, storage bin. I only have four wood. Probably use. Oh, I keep hitting that button. I could probably use two more storage bins. 
I need more wood. Oh my god. Everything is breaking. It's really sad when those little trees yield more wood than a giant, one of those gigantic trees. Let's make another storage box. Yeah, we'll make two more. Why not? All right, so I'm definitely going to put away all that meat. Uh, that prime meat is probably going to go bad, which kind of sucks, but it's kind of whatever. Nice, another level up, and I'm about to the point of starving, so I got to get over here and grab some of this uh, cooked meat. Access inventory. Let's throw some more raw meat on there. And throw that in half. There we go. And pick that up. How are you doing, Frank? Oh, he's doing good. He's got quite a lot of berries and stuff yet. Alright, so this is an empty bin. We will store... All that. God, what am I going to do with all this freaking fish meat? <laughs> That's just kind of ridiculous. Although, I'll tell you what, it's going to give me a lot of... Uh... A lot of spoiled meat, which is good. poop again. Oh my god. Now saying that, what happened on my prime meat? I had a shit ton of prime meat, did I not? I am so confused with what is going on right now. Whatever. Alright, that's fish meat. Let's get this one. Alright, let's pull this out.
All right, so we got lots of storage there. I think over here by the bed. Um, actually, I don't think I have enough. Hmm. Crafting. What do I need? I need more stone. Wow, why do you need so much stone? All right, I'm gonna go get stone. Alright, and there goes that boulder. Nice, keep that metal coming, because that'll, uh, that'll come in handy later. Every little bit counts. Let's level up again, because I got yet another level. What are we going to go in this time? I think we'll go into some more movement speed. All right, we got 14 points to work with here. Um... Flare gun, gunpowder, stimulant... Uh, Cooking pot, bola. Parasaur saddle. Um, gravestone. A rope ladder. Let's go for the Parasaur saddle. Because that will enable me to at least have something to travel with me. To carry some stuff, if need be. There seem to be a lot of parasaurs around here. Although I say that now and there won't be any. Nice, keep that metal coming. Still need more, huh? Three more. Three more is all I need. Break again. Craft that mortar and pestle. And now actually saying that, let's um Because if I remember correctly for narcotic, it's uh three narco berries or not three narco berries, five narco berries and a um spoiled meat. So let's go ahead and gather up some more narco berries.
which I don't seem to be getting any. Okay, what is going on here? I haven't gotten a single narco berry. Oh, there we go. Two. Woo! -hoo. How many narco berries do I have? 24. So one more narco berry will only give me five narcotic. There's three. I guess what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to harvest a lot. And I'll probably do that stuff off screen. I'll probably do a lot of harvesting off screen and collecting. Just because it's it's pretty boring for you guys to watch, and uh, you know, unless I'm going out hunting for something specific <clears throat> or building something specific, I'll probably end up doing that stuff off screen. And then I'll just I'll update you guys, and then you know, in a next episode or whatever. But this harvesting and stuff is not very fun for you guys to watch. I know that much. Oh, nice five narco berries. Stego is going nowhere. Alright, so let's go ahead down here and avoid that bear looking thing. Looks quite angry. There's a giant turtle. Quite possible, well, maybe not. He's only level two. Oh, geez. Freaking Dilophosaurus. What level? Level four. I can take him. This whole area is quite nice, actually. Hey, there's a parasaur. Saying that, what do I need for a... Um... Oh, saddles. Parasaur. Uh, 80 hide. Ugh. 80 hide, 15 wood. So I got quite a bit of hide to uh, collect yet. Huh. 
That guy would probably give me quite a bit of hide, but he's probably also tough as shit. I don't think I wanna. I don't think I wanna be. Oh jeez. I don't have anything to fix it. Probably need wood. from this guy, as well as carrots. Nice. All right, so we got some decent stuff. We still can't make that Parasaur sail. Uh, yeah, sail, Parasaur sail. Parasaur saddle. However, we're getting there slowly. I think what else I need to do is... Let's go... Crafting... Armor... Cloth. Yes, I will make some... Some shoes. Surprisingly, my cloth stuff hasn't really taken any damage. So that's always good. So let's run over here. Let's um, access inventory. We'll take that. And we will also take this and put that there. Frank, I'm home. Really, Frank? Oh, that was me. My bad, Frank. All right, so let's um. Nope, let's fish meat. All right, let's put the metal away. Let's put um the keratin away. Um, we will also put the flint away. We'll keep those two pieces of flint just so they can stack then. Uh, we'll put the stone away. We'll put that storage box in here as well. And then, um... We will put this right next to the bed. Let's go ahead and put all the spoiled meat in there. And we'll also put the narco berries in there. And then we can go to drugs, narcotic. Uh, crafty. There we go. And this could possibly level me up as well. I don't remember how much experience uh, narcotics get, but yeah, my experience bar is going up, so I should get a level out of this. Yeah, that's easily going to be another level. And this should do it. Take the 
those narcotics. Thank you. Right, let's go to um put another point into health. Right, so we got 17 now. And I believe I hit level did I hit level 15? Requires level 15. What level did I hit? Oh, 11. I got a ways to go yet. Right. Um, what can I take? What would be useful? <laughs> Frank, did you really just shit again? An icky source. I don't even know what the hell it. Ichthyosaurus. Ichthyosaurus. I don't even know how to freaking pronounce that. Wooden cage. Um, what I could use are like large storage boxes, but that doesn't come till later, I don't think. Alright. Um, just show me the arc. Prime Engrams, please. Thank you. I don't want to see all the, the other stuff that I can't use, like the Scorched Earth stuff. What I could do is I could go for let's go for wood foundation and then let's also go for where are those rope ladder and something tells me I'm gonna need to go for slingshot if I want to get bow so I guess I'll take slingshot right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm stuck in the door what I want to do is like over here actually that's like a perfect spot right there I'm going to put a platform and then have a ladder going down. So that way I don't have to walk all the way around to get, you know, to a different area. I can just go straight down from here. And then I have access to all this stuff here, which would be great. There's a nice little valley over there. I might go check that out at some point. I guess I could possibly put it over here as well. And that would be fine or even here there's some more giant fish over there right so let's see what I need for a wooden platform I need a shit ton of wood I'm sure no not weapon structures uh, wood Wooden foundation, I need 80 wood and 20 thatch. And then for a ladder, I need, right, 15. So I need quite a lot of wood. Well, let's go get collecting then. I'm gonna need some water here too. Hopefully there aren't any uh, carnivorous dinosaurs down here and I can go down here and get some water. I see a stego. Oh God. <laughs> Ouch. That hurt. Oh my god, that is a... Why is it glowing red? That is a freaking Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm gonna go this way. That 
course they go. Well, I guess while I'm down here, I can collect some wood. Good amount out of that tree. Right, I can't carry any more of my inventory. Ah, shit. Alright, let's go to crafting. Let's go foundation. Alright, now we need thatch. I'm not sure how many rope ladders I'm going to need. Why is that saying I can't, um, I still don't have enough, 140 thatch, holy crap. I guess I'm on a thatch hunting adventure. A lot of fiber and a lot of thatch. That's right, because I could use some more narco berries as well, so. sure how many um, rope ladder right I still need more fiber Nice, got a good amount of fiber out of that. Okay, apparently you can get fibers out of that too. I didn't realize that. And berries apparently.
Whoa, what was that? I got a rare something. Whoa, some slowdown. What was that rare thing I got? I got a rare... Oh, I got rare flowers, huh? Nice. They must be used in some... To craft something. Um, some sort of narcotic of some sort. Cold, you should find some warmth soon. Well, funnily enough, a torch, holding a torch gives you warmth. Which makes sense in a way. I love the environment sounds in this game because the closer you get to like a forested area, you, you hear more crickets and stuff. And it's just cool. I like it. Okay, so what I need to do then is... I should have enough now for another ladder. No, I don't. Oh, I need thatch. Gotcha. All right, well, first things first. Let's feed Frank. No, I didn't mean to pick you up, Frank. My bad. Okay, you stare at that wall. Access inventory. You still have plenty of food there, Frank. Plenty of food indeed. I'll give you some more anyway. Because, you know, I'm cool like that. Alright, so let's go over here. More narco berries. More spoiled meat. So I got quite a few narcotics now. 13. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Right, so what do I need to do yet? I need more thatch. However, I'm kind of full at the moment. So let's drop this wood since it weighs 30 pounds. Although saying that, I probably need... That's all right. I, what is it I need for a ladder? I don't think I need that much wood. Uh, 15 thatch. Uh, can I take half? Split. There we go. I'm still really, really heavy, and I think it's because of these berries. Nine pounds. Oh, the wooden foundation as well. Right. Oh, and the thatch roof. I got thatch roofs yet. Thatch roofs. That'll free up 16 pounds. A little bit better. Hmm. 
All right, let's go over here and get more thatch. Of course they don't have what I need to repair it. I need freaking stone. Rid of this ginormous tree. That was a huge, huge tree. <laughs> Sadly, this whole area is probably going to be deforested soon. Right, I need more thatch, again. Alrighty, Mr. Stego, your um, physics are not working out that well. Neither are the physics of this tree, which is growing through a rock. A boulder. Okay. Now I would assume that should be enough ladders. If not, I guess I'll have to make more eventually. Now I am freezing at this point. And I need to get over here and uh, light up this fire. That should help warm me up a bit. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I gotta go inside. I'm close to a level up here, so let's, um... Where was it that I wanted to place this? It's like right here, right? So if I place that there, like that... Right? No, I placed that wrong. Oh, that's not good. Ugh, I'm gonna have to wait until freaking morning.
I'm also dying, apparently. I'm freezing to death. why exactly it's so freaking cold. But I'm probably gonna end up dying in my house, which is fine. I mean, I can just wake up and grab my stuff again. Alright, and you pooped. Good on you. Um, do I have anything to... What a place to freaking save. I know, man. I'm injured. Yeah, a broken bone from hypothermia, apparently. Okay, so apparently the torch is helping. I don't fully understand that. But let's go ahead and... I'm gonna go ahead and eat up these freaking berries. This will help to slowly heal my bones. I need are some standing torches inside here to keep it a little bit warmer or help maybe even bring the fire in here if I can I might actually go ahead and do that And just like that, the cold is gone, apparently. Apparently the fire alone was not enough. I need the fire and a torch. That makes no sense, but okay. So I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I'm going to uh, finish off screen. I'm going to go ahead and build my platform over there, because I'm going to have to go and click more stuff. So I'm going to build my platform with the ladder down and probably go harvesting for stuff and try and get a couple levels. And then um, I will see you guys in the, the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode or the previous episode, please leave a like. If you guys enjoy my Let's Plays, don't hesitate to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Arc Semi-Blind. But until then, guys, later.